for me it does not have to be like in every episode i guess we are like invest like it's invested like it's always a little portion in every episode where it's like about their relationship right and i don't need this actually um I think if you have a cooldown of two, three episodes between like these moments and for that we have like bigger moments of this, that's more likely um, for me. Like if we have an K a K-drama where we have like the typical 16 episodes um, and it's not a romance K-drama, it's more an maybe action K-drama or something like that, then it's always between like the main protagonists when they are in love that it's building up and stuff yeah sometimes um, you as well building it up through these 16 episodes right but um, it's not that often to be fair um, at least for that one I I have watched if you go for like an, a, a drama like sheer up there was like always about it um, and it was between <laughs> three people so that's a bit more of a topic to cover up but um, I don't think this drama has to be like always on the road for that right if it would be every two second episode I don't think it was it would like break um, break the relationship that they have supposed to be and I know it's important for the drama and I guess it's important for maybe the season finale and stuff. But um, yeah, I guess you can build it up even easier, in my opinion. But um, it's not something that bothers me that big or that much. Um, the episode was amazing. Um, we actually got uh, confirmed that Marcelli, um is a soul shifter. <coughs> he accidentally shifted souls, right? Um, he wanted to see if he um, mastered Hansu. Was meditating for 100 years to yeah, shift his soul out of his body. Um, and while his soul was gone, his body got burned. And so he couldn't return. And then he just returned in some random child <laughs> and that how it turned out that he now has a body of uh, like 30 40 year man um yeah across the years we're progressing right he was um, getting older <sighs> but wow that's amazing that's actually amazing i really love him we even saw him um showing some strength overall this episode like this whole section in the palace was amazing this was so, so, so impactful. I love this so much. Um, we got re revealed that the dog um, is Kvigu, that's um, a spiritual, or, um, yeah, like a spiritual beast. Um, to find like the artifacts and Jinwoyong that that Jinwoyong are in this room, right? Um, and yeah, the spirit normally was used to find those, um, but soul shifter worked the same, so the dog can also find like a soul shifter. And um, yeah, he barks if he finds a soul uh, if if he finds a soul shifter. Um, yeah, it was pretty obvious that, like, the, um, queen is a soul shifter. In my opinion, she made it so damn obvious. That's incredible. Um, I guess he not even needed it that obvious, but, yeah, she made it really obvious. Um, and, yeah, I see the fact that they didn't play it really with open cards. Um, like Master D and so on because um, I see the war I guess they would win the war but having the war like between the nations would be so wild would be so wild 
and I don't think that that's the way. So yeah, playing it slowly is, is pretty much a thing. Still, I really, really loved um, how um, how he got humiliated by Master D. It was, it was incredible. He was on the edge of just lose everything. And Master Yi was just... But yeah, that's how strong he is um, after like 140, 150 years, right? That's how strong he is. Mm, right, the whole case with Mudok was kind of... Um, Like with um, the murder case, uh, cause of all people that know Zoe and Murdoch was like getting in there um, was like the other half of this episode, which got um, yeah executed very well in my opinion, um, especially like with the end uh, where Chin was asking them um, about a secret and they should tell him the same. Yes, I see that. I guess I would have done like the same. I would like have had the same um, thinking there that this is going suppo supposed to be like the shit you 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 should tell, right? Because um, they were hiding the love pretty pretty long, um, and they are still not even really getting to it, even if they have confessed each other. Um, but yeah, I really, really see it. Um, Choyan luckily chose to um, tell the truth as well. And yeah. That was the episode overall. Um, pretty, pretty cool episode. I'm super excited. Like, it wasn't really a cliffhanger. Still, I'm super excited for the next episode. Because, um, as I said, still, Master Lee said he is going to make his move now and wow he did an amazing move and i really want to see how this is going um yeah out, out in the next episodes uh so he is now ready with the dna of uh, chin Wong to um yeah to be bunok and I'm really, really interested how this is going to continue. So guys, thanks for watching with me um, this episode of Alchemy of Souls. Um, yeah, I'm really, really, really excited to check out the next episode with you guys. Um, I'm excited to check out some other episodes with you guys, some other K-dramas with you. Um, just feel, feel free to tell me in the comments what you want to know. If you want to see the full reaction, um, feel free to check out my Patreon if you see this here on youtube um don't forget to yeah uh, look over there um because there are all live reactions to every episode um and yeah i hope i see you guys in the next videos bye guys